Thank you for calling support. This is Nancy. How may I help you today? Uh, yes, hello. Um, I've got some uh, Windows warning alert on my computer. What does it say, sir? Uh, it says error MS dash sysinfo32. Please call us immediately at this number that I've called. Do not ignore this critical alert. If you close this page, your computer access will be disabled to prevent further damage to our network. Your computer has alerted us that it has been infected with a pornographic spyware and virus. And then it says the following information has been stolen. Facebook login, credit card details, email account login, photos and documents stored on so this is it, is, it, is, it, is it the first time you are getting this alert? Yes. Alright, and may I know what were you exactly doing when you get this alert? I was just checking my emails and uh, watching a bit of YouTube. Alright sir, so in order to fix your problem, what I need to do, I'll be giving you some simple instructions, you need to follow them, so that I can go ahead and diagnose your problem and get your problem fixed, okay? Okay. Alright, now focus on your keyboard at the left hand side, very bottom. Can you find the window key? Uh, yes. Alright, so now press the window key, hold it down and while holding it down, press the letter R. Okay. R as in Robert. Okay, yes. There's uh, the box that's popped up on my screen, something about type the name of a program, folder, document or internet yes. thing. Alright sir, now focus on that box, can you find open and a tiny box in front of open? Uh, yes. Alright sir, and may I know is the box blank? Uh, yeah. Alright, now type in there I explore and I explore is all one word. Okay, yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. Alright, and after I explore, leave a space and then type www dot. Uh, yes. And after the dot, type help me and help me is all together. Help me dot net. Help me dot net, okay. Net. Okay, yes. Alright, so now repeat the whole thing back so, so that I can confirm it. Okay. And you need to spell it out, okay? Oh, spell, okay. Spell it out. Okay. I've got I E X P L O R E, then I put the space, then www dot H E L P M E dot N E T. So it is N as in Nancy, E as yeah. in Edward, T as in Tom, right? Yes. All right, now hit OK. OK, yeah. And now you will receive a window establish support connection. Yeah. Alright, so now type your name in the name box. Okay. And once you are done with your name, let me know. I will help you with the support key. Alright. Okay, yeah, I'm ready for the support key now. Alright, so type the support key. It is 215. 215, yeah. 291 291 335 335 okay yes now hit continue okay and then let me know 
what do you see on the screen? Uh, I would say, do you want to run or save? Go to assist. Yes, hit run. Okay. Hit run. All right. And then let me know what do you see on the screen? Uh, it says initializing. Go to opener. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Hold on for a moment, sir, and you will be prompted to hit yes or no, and you are supposed to hit on yes. Okay. Okay. Once you get the option of yes or no, hit on yes and do intimate me, okay? Okay, uh, it's, it still says it's connecting to go to assist. Yes. Hold on. It says, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. All right. you will get yes or no options again and you are supposed to hit on yes again okay okay you're saying web expert has invited you yes to an, oh, I'll click yes. Hit on yes okay that's me, sir. Hit yes. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Perfect, sir. You did a great job. Now you are connected to our safe and secure server. Okay, that's good. And let me assign a technician for you who will go ahead and diagnose the problem and will get your problem fixed, okay? Okay. Alright, sir. So I request you to please hold the call. The call is being transferred and don't mind the silence. Okay. Alright, and meanwhile do not touch your mouse or keyboard. Okay. Okay. Yes. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you for holding the line. My name is James and I'm the assigned technician for a case. And may I know what's your name? Uh, my name is Shane Jones. Okay. Yeah. And Shane, apart from you, who else uses this computer? Uh, just me. It's my computer. Okay. Nobody else. May I know what was your last activity? I was checking my emails and I was also trying to watch a YouTube video as well. Okay. And uh, have you tried to make any kind of changes? Uh, no, I, I haven't done anything. I didn't mean to do anything. Oh, changes related to hardware or software? No, I haven't done anything. Okay. Oh, you downloaded any kind of file or software from the internet? Oh, I was just watching YouTube videos. Okay. Because these kind of alerts are system protect error. I mean, an alert generated by your computer itself. Okay. Whenever you make any changes or any kind of damage done to your defender drivers or the protection services, then your computer gets logged and gives you the warning like this. Okay. So what's wrong with it? Let me check. Okay. I'll try to fix it. All right. And when did you receive this alert? Uh, it was probably about, I don't know, 10 or 20 minutes ago. Okay. Oh, 
Wow. This is the reason why you got this alert. Can you see that? Network inspection service for the defender is stopped. It should be always running. Okay. Whenever your network inspection service get stopped, then what happens? All the incoming connections to your network get established because there is nothing available to block the unwanted connections to your network. I'm trying to start them. If it started running, there will be no more problem. Okay. But before that, I need to check why you are getting these kind of alerts. Okay. Now, how many other machines are hooked up from the same network? It's just the one. This is laptop. You sound like a miner. No, no, I haven't done any mining ever. Beg your pardon? Uh, no, I, I'm unemployed at the moment. I don't do mining. Oh, you are unemployed? Yeah. I'm saying you sound like a miner. No, well, well I don't do any mining, you know. I don't work for a Adani or anything like that. So, do you know how to fix the computer? Is it fixed or have you finished? I'm trying to find out, sir, why you are getting your defender services stopped. Okay. But again, it, this is going to stop, then you will get the same problem again. And apart from this, can you see this alert is saying somebody was trying to get access of your personal information like these yeah. things which are listed here so that is not a good sign yeah it's, it's i'm a bit worried too about my credit card details Well, so that the problem which you're facing that is not a computer problem okay right now 20 connections are found from your network IP address which are established there okay well, what do I do about that these are the foreign locations connected to your Ethernet cable network. Okay. Because IP address that you have there, that is also the same one here, 10.0.2.15, yeah. same IP address. This is the reason, um, can you see here, these all are the foreign addresses. These people are trying to steal your information. Oh. Well, how do we get rid of them? Can we block um, them? These 
Yes, here let me tell you what we have to do. We have to block these foreign addresses which are connected to your network and they are around 20 in numbers. Okay. Yeah. Be always that's, that's a lot. And do you know where they're from? Yeah. This is some sort of, you can say, security breach or hacking activity on your network IP address. Okay. Here, what we need to do, we need to block these 20 connections. Um, because here I'm seeing MCS connections into your network. Can you see that MCS connections? What's MCS? These all are the malware connected system. Oh, okay. If you have Google on your in, these are the malware connected system hooked up to your network. Um, work of these connections is to infect your computer and disable the protection services and monitor your activity, whatever you are doing over the internet. Oh, okay. With the help of these kind of MCS connections, these foreign addresses monitor your activity, what you do. Oh, okay. And then they do what? The moment you make any kind of online shopping, or banking, or purchase, online purchase, they try to compromise your information. This okay. is the reason today your computer got blocked. Oh, okay. And why are you running incognito where you're oh. some pornographic website yeah yeah i was doing that too i just didn't want to tell you you should avoid that oh okay you should avoid that because the reason is only visit the website those are the safe website porno watching porno is not a bad habit i do watch porn but oh, okay. over the safe website not on the unsafe website okay here in this case, Shane, what I'm going to do to fix the problem, I'm going to assign a network engineer who will yeah. go ahead and block these foreign addresses because until and unless these foreign addresses are not blocked, then these things cannot be fixed. I mean, computer is not a problem. You can buy 10 more new computer, but your identity and your information is something we have to take a necessary step about that from being compromised. Okay. I'm going to stop that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to assign a network engineer who will go ahead and block these kind of things. Okay. And yes, it will take around 30 minutes to fix the problem. So you need not to be on the call for the next 30 minutes. Okay. So I have to register you for the services. Yeah. And our technicians will take care of that. And yes, saying one thing more. Yeah. Because this is not a Windows problem, not a computer problem. This is some sort of hacking activity, so softwares which we are going to use, those are the licensed uh, professional softwares, I mean paid software. So uh, charges will be also applicable for them. You can uh, write down yeah. the session reference number which has been allotted to you. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Can you see on your screen? Yeah. That is the reference number. Um, apart from this, you need not to write down anything. The technician that is seeing you, that's James. Um, that's my employee ID. Um, the block time will be around 30 minutes. So make sure for next 30 minutes, you're not going to use your internet as well as this computer. Okay. Because what we have to do, we have to remove all kind of foreign addresses from your network, ethernet cable, which are monitoring. And then what we have to do, we have to remove the malware things which yeah. are damaging your operating system. Okay. All together, what I, we have to do, clean up of your network, internet network, um, clean up of your computer as well. Clean up means removing of unwanted applications. Okay. Not your personal files. All right. Um, here the license tools which we are going to use. 
those are like and don't look on the spelling mistakes because I'm not a good typer okay going to use this MRT kit um, this kit this tool kit comes with a bunch of softwares which will fix the work okay. and do the work and here cleanup charge standard fee will be applicable okay And all the legal documents you'll be getting on your email address like the service proof, and the agreement, and the invoice. Okay, yeah. And once they register you, you will be assigned a customer ID number, the permanent reference number for you. You have to make sure you're not going to lose that. But you'll be getting these things post registration. Okay. Um, you can uh, type in your email address on which I can send you all the legal documents. Okay, you want me to type it now? Hang on. Okay, yeah. Oh, you have a good. You have a good typing speed. Yeah. Level 10. And the best phone number. <laughs> the best phone number to reach you post fixation. Yeah, that's uh, my, the number I've called on. Uh, hang on, where's the. Yeah, that's the, my number. Okay. And apart from this, do you have any alternate contact number? Uh, no, that's the only phone number I've got. No other, okay. And for the registration, which card you will be using? Um, oh, hang on, I've got a um, credit card. It's a MasterCard. You can type in. Okay, you can yeah. type in there, MasterCard. Oh, okay. All right. Um, you can grab that card and you can type in down the card number over there. I just wanted to know um, what the name of this company is that'll show up on my billing, just for you know my um, records. Okay, sir. So we are the Tech Online. We provide security and support to all the Microsoft products and services. That is the reason this number has been generated by your computer itself. Okay. Do you have the, um, the website and that? Beg your pardon? Does your company have a website? Yeah, I do. Yes. Yeah. Um, the expiration date, yeah, we do have a website. Okay. Oh, can I see your website, please? Of course, sir. Give me a moment. Well, right now, your computer is locked. Let us fix this. And after that, definitely I'll show you the website. Okay. Uh, can I see uh, it? Why can't I see it now? Code. Why can't I see it now? Oh, yes, sir. Beg your pardon? Why can't you close the Explorer down? I'm not getting you. Well, uh, you closed the Explorer down ages ago. Uh, I'll just wait for everything to load because up down the bottom. I don't want to access any of your files. No, I just wanted to know what your website is. Can you type your website in? Oh, yes, surely. I just wanted to see your website, that's all. 
Okay, give me a moment. Give okay. Me a moment. All right. I'll finish filling this out then while I'm waiting. Yeah. Can you leave the mouse? Hang on. Yeah, okay, the computer's yours. Okay. And uh, how your name appears on the card? Okay, yeah. Yep, there you go. Okay, yeah. And once you get the clearance from the billing, I'll start the documentation part for you. Okay. Okay. Can I uh, put your call on hold for yeah. a couple of moments? Yeah, that's okay. All right. All right, are you there, Shane? Yes. Okay. I got the clearance from the billing department. Okay. So I'm going to start the documentation part. Okay. And let me know which bank card is this? It's with the Commerce Bank. C O M M. Which bank? Commerce. C O. Commerce Bank. Yeah, C O M M E R Z B A N K. Okay. All right. So, what I'm going to do next, Shane, I'm transferring this call to the Cyber Security Department. One of the experts will assist you shortly okay. for the further fixation yeah. so that what happened today should not happen again in future. Okay. So please be online. Yep, I'll be online. Thanks for holding the line. Appreciate your time and patience. How are you doing today, Sean? Shane. I'm a Shane, yeah. Oh, I'm okay. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm also good. Thanks for asking. My name is Sam and I'm from the Cyber Security Department. I'll go ahead and activate some securities on your IP address. So okay. that what happened today will never happen with you again in future and no one will be able to hack your devices, right? Okay, yeah, because that sounds good. all the problems, yep, all the problems which you're facing right now, it's just because of lack of securities, lack of protections on it. Okay. And security is something which will help you in future so that you will not get these kind of problems. And whatever activity you are performing over the internet, like your email, banking, shopping, portal, document, everything can be protected, alright? Okay. So let me explain you about the firewall securities, then you can decide which one is good and I will be activating the same one for you. If we are talking about the firewall, it's basically coming in three variants. The first one, that is the basic security. Yeah, you got to put it in Notepad. Can you put it in Notepad so I can read it as well? Oh, yes. No problem with yeah. that. What we will be doing here, I will explain you and I'll send you all the copies of it, okay? Okay. On your email address, I have your email. Yeah. Yes. So the first security, that is the basic security. The basic is good for one year, there is a single layer of protection on it. The second one, that is the advanced one. Advanced one is for the complete two years, there is a three layer of protection. 
and this was the one which you already got on your IP address. It ran out 11 days ago and that's how you are getting the problems on it. The third one, that is the latest one. And the that third is for one. the complete three years. That is yeah. A, sorry? I'll just go the third one. It sounds good already. Yeah. Yeah, the third one, that is the latest one. And that yeah. is for the complete three years. That is a seven layer of protection with the entire hacking software on it. So if you want to get the same one activated, I can activate the same one for you. If you want to get the latest, I can also activate the latest. Which one you think is a good one for you? Uh, I'll go, with, go the, with the, the third the one. Latest. Can I get the third one? Third one? The third one? Can I get the yeah, third one? You can get the yes, yeah, you can get the third one also. Yeah. I'll let you know about the prices if you are talking about the three year one. The three year one will be 699 oh. for the three years. After three years, whenever you will renew, it will be just $29 for another three years, okay? Okay. So you want to use the same debit card for the activation of the securities or you want to use a different one for it? No, I'll use that MasterCard. It seems to um, be working pretty good. Is that a good one? Yeah. Okay. So you've already got the details, haven't you? Yeah, I already have it. You don't have to give it to me again. Okay. Alrighty. Hold on. Let What's me this? start the firewall work for you. Alright? Yeah. Okay. How's the weather over there at your place? Yeah, it's alright. It's pretty dark. It's like you know, right, 3 yeah. in the morning, so I don't know. It's, it's cold. We're in the middle of winter here, in the, down here in Australia. Oh. I guess you're in the middle of summer, eh? Oh, okay. Can I ask what level tech support you are? Sorry, what did you say? I was just wondering what level tech support you are, that's all. Yes, you are talking to the online support for the Microsoft product and services. You are speaking with the company right now. Yeah, Because okay. you are using a Microsoft computer, right? Uh, yeah, I think it is. So that is the reason you are talking. Yes, so that is the reason you are speaking with us. Till the next three years, if you are getting any kind of problems, just simply call us. We will fix well, it for you. That's well, what's your um, hotline number? Buy a new computer. Do you have another number I can contact yeah, you on? Yeah, I'll give you the number. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give you the number on your email. Don't need to worry. Oh, can you type it in notepad? I'll send you on the email. I I'll want it in notepad. Email. Don't need to worry. Can you put it in notepad? Yep, I can do that. Are you still there? What are you trying to do? What's going on? Yes. You have to stay with me for five minutes more because I'm oh. getting all that documentation done for you. I'm activating the firewall. So it will take some time out there. Okay. You have to stay on the line. Okay? Yes. All right. Yeah. Well, can you hurry up? Like you have to go somewhere? Yeah, well, I've got to edit this video and upload it, and the longer you take, the longer it'll take me. Oh, okay. Just give me five to seven minutes more, okay? Oh, well, hurry up. I'll, I'll give you two minutes. Oh, okay. What's Just type the website in. Yeah, we are active. We are trying to run the card, okay? Hold on. Trying to what? 
How are you up? We are trying to run the card. Run the card? Oh, you mean that credit card? No, the debit card. The card which you gave me? Yeah, it's a MasterCard. Card. That was a MasterCard. Yes, yes, it's a MasterCard. I know that. Yeah. Is there something wrong with it? I hope there's nothing wrong with it because it did say my my credit card's been hacked on that Microsoft alert. Yeah, do you don't use the credit card, or you just have this card? I've only got that one card, that Mastercard that I gave you from the Commerce Bank. I think maybe it's been hacked. Okay. Or can I pay in Bitcoin or and something? I believe you have the... Uh, no, no, not Bitcoin. I've got Why Bitcoin. Why like we are activating the Bitcoin? How do you think? I don't know. I've got Bitcoin on my computer somewhere. Oh, you using Bitcoin also? It was set up for me. My brother set it up. I got some Bitcoin somewhere. I don't know how it works, so... Oh, okay. No, because we are not using Bitcoin. That is the name of the website, that's it. Nothing else. Is that really it? What is it? Is that it? Can you yes. open it up? Okay. Yes, you see the website? Yeah. We are calling from New South Wales. You are calling from New South Wales? No, I'm in uh, Queens. Yeah, yeah, I'm in New South Wales in St. Ives. It's near, yeah. Yeah. So what's all of this? This for the billing? Oh yeah. Yes, we are activating your email address. You see right. it over here? Yeah. Email. <laughs> yeah. We have to activate your email also. That's yeah. It's nice to see you charging GST. Check your name, first name. Yep, that's right. Jane, right? Yeah. John. Is that right? Your zip code? Uh, code? Sorry? Yeah, 2075, that's right. Check your numbers. Yeah, that looks right.
So is it all good now? Yeah, you see that? This is not a what? good card. What? What do you mean it's not a good card? This is not... Yep, that is not a good card. You see, <laughs> the payment is not going through from this card. Okay. Well, what yeah. are we... Use your different card. Uh, well, that's the only Use one I've got, one. I think. Oh, hang on, I'll have a look around. Uh, I might have one. I think it's the only card I've got. Hang on. Oh, I've got a visa, if you want to try my visa. Ah, uh, yes, you can read out the visa. Do you want me to type it or read it out? Yeah, you can read it out. Okay. On this secure line, it's 4485. Yep. 8974. Yep. 0753. A nine two double three. What is the expiration on it? A uh, November two thousand and twenty three. November? Yeah, November two thousand and twenty three. What is the three on the back? The three what? The three digit on the back side of your card. Uh, the card there will be a three digit. Oh number. yeah, it's nine five nine. Nine five nine. Yes. From where are you getting these cards? Like this is which card is this? This is a credit card or a debit card? It's a Visa card. That one. It's Visa. Okay. Is it good? Expiration, what is the expiration on the card? November 2023, the 11th month, that's the 11th. November's the 11th month. It's 11th? Yeah. 2023. And the name on the card is same? Yeah. So that's all good, isn't it? Uh -huh, yeah, that is not working. Why not? What's not working? Your cards are not working. Why not? What's wrong with them? They've been hacked. Can you fix it for free then? Hello? Hello, can you fix it for free? What did you say? I said, can you fix it for free then? Fix it for free? Yeah. Why? Because I got no money. You don't have money? Nah, well, I'm not going to give you any. Because you're a dirty, rotten, scam and piece of you? shit. What did he say? <laughs> I said you're a dirty, rotten, scam and piece of shit. Sir, you're fucking... if you're doing a prank call, just hang up. <laughs> you don't have that much what? time to waste. Yeah, you got plenty of time. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful don't hang time, man. I'll call you back. Are you going to sys key the computer or something? Ah, the scammer hung up. 